Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to share with you my 2021 Christmas decor. First, I wanna tell you what inspired my decor this year. For the most part, every year I reuse the things I already have, but I do look to add new pieces all the time. So this year I was flipping through a magazine called LTD Commodities. I order from them here and there, um, but they had these plaid plates that I saw. And for whatever reason, they just drew me in and got me excited about Christmas. And when I saw them, I knew that they would go really perfectly with the Christmas plates I had gotten last year at Walmart. And that together kind of inspired the feel that I wanted for Christmas this year. 
So I knew after looking at these plates that I wanted to do mostly white with bits of red and then bits of plaid. I wanted it to feel cozy and nostalgic and just very traditional and not overpowering, if that makes sense. So that's what I would suggest when you're decorating your house for any kind of holiday or really anything in general, start with something that you love, something that you can draw from and inspires you. So once I had these plates, I went ahead and ordered them. I was just on a mission that if I saw anything else that I felt like went with that theme, I would go ahead and pick that up this year. The first thing that I usually start with when I am decorating my house is my tree. It is the focal point of the Christmas decor. I'm sure you probably feel the same way in your own home. It's the thing that makes the biggest statement and it's where like all the colors and the kind of design start. So that's the first thing I set up my tree and then I always have the same kind of base ornaments that I keep and reuse year after year. Those are white, silvers, golds, and I don't necessarily use all of what I have every single year, but that is what I have. The majority of my ornaments are in kind of neutral base colors that could go with anything. And then I always have accent ornaments as well. I have done pink, burgundy, reds and greens. This year, like I said, we're doing whites and reds. And so that is what I pull from. So I don't have to go and buy new ornaments every year. If I know that I wanna do a different color scheme the next year, I go to the craft stores after the Christmas holiday when the Christmas decor is 75 to 90% off and I buy a little bit of those ornaments in those colors. And that is how I switch color schemes. So really the majority of my decor is just me reusing the stuff I already have and just adding in those accent colors. Another thing about my Christmas tree is you will never see a designer tree from me. And what I mean by that is something that is styled strictly with just basic ornaments or just colored ornaments or like themed ornaments, if that makes sense. Mine will always be a personalized tree. I will always have handmade ornaments on my tree. Um, my kids' ornaments they have made over the years and have also picked out ornaments that we've gotten them every year. Those are very special to us, very nostalgic, and it matters in our tree. And I know that some people will do just fancy ornaments or ones that kind of make their tree look ultra beautiful and special in that way. Mine is always going to be something that has all of those sentimental ornaments uh, because they matter to our family. One thing that I did invest in this year, which is odd for me because I don't usually have to do this, is I did get new garlands this year. The garlands I used last year I have had since my husband and I first got married, so that's been 18 years. <laughs> so they have lasted me a very, very long time. Um, but I really wanted some extra garland and I wanted something with a different feel. The ones that I had before were pine. The ones I got this year are more of um, cedar or cypress. I'm not even sure what it is, um, but they're much more natural and look very fresh to me. And that was important to me this year. I will not have to invest in garlands for probably another 15 years, maybe longer, because I'm guessing that these will last just as long as the other ones did. I still kept the other ones so that I can use them in different places. In fact, I used a couple of them on the outside of my house this year, but this new garland is just a, an excellent addition to my decor. I know it will last me a long time. It was a little bit of an investment, but I did get them from Kohl's when they were on sale, used my coupons and earned my Kohl's cash for it. So I don't feel that bad about it, but that was one of the things I wanted to add to my decor this year. So once I get my tree all settled and started, that is when I start working on my mantle. So I really wanted to keep my mantle very simple this year. I went with my new garland and hung my stockings just on one side of the fireplace. And I did that because the tree takes up so much room on the one side. I thought that it would like help balance out the weight of the tree to have the stockings on one side of the fireplace. So it gave it a little bit more of weight to that side of the fireplace. In addition, I just kept it very simple on top of the mantle and just did candlesticks and a lantern. And on these are LED candlesticks and a candle in the lantern. And those are on a timer. So come five o'clock this evening, 
those will turn on and flicker like real candles and they will stay on for four hours and it's just the prettiest ambiance to our decor and I am loving the way that that turned out. Normally I go a little bit heavier on the decor on the mantle but this year I just wanted to keep it very simple and I'm really glad I did because like I said with the with the tree right here and it is in a different spot this year in our house because if you've been following me for a while, you know we got a new couch and we flipped our living room around. So our Christmas tree has to go to a different spot. And with it being right here next to the fireplace, it's heavy, I feel like, right there. Um, so I wanted to keep the fireplace decor very simple so that it wouldn't feel bogged down in this area. One of the things that I did with, and I wanna mention for um, decorating is with the pops of bread, I went ahead and added those in different parts of the decor to kind of bring everything together and make it very cohesive. So while I only used red ornaments on my tree, I went ahead and pulled a couple of berries that I've already had for years and years and stuck a few in a couple of the garlands. I did not do it on every garland because I didn't want everything to match completely. I wanted everything to coordinate and be cohesive, but not be matchy matchy. I wanted it to be different and interesting in, in the different areas. So for my fireplace mantle, I went ahead and pulled those berries over to bring over some red into the mantle since it's right next to the tree. And in addition, I wrapped a pine cone little garland piece that I got from Dollar Tree last year in that. That I think gave a really nice touch to the fireplace and a little bit of interest in that garland. And to match that and coordinate with that, we have a half wall that sits in between our living room and our dining room. So I went ahead and draped another garland over this. Now this is the first year I've ever put a garland on this wall. And because it's shorter, I ended up having to drape it over the side, but I really, really love the way this looked. What I did was I went ahead and wrapped another of those pine cone garlands in this one and then also added a few berries as well. So since that you can see from the tree and is kind of in the living room as well, those three pieces, the tree and the two garlands, all coordinated. The next thing I focused on was my couch. And like I said, this is a brand new couch. I recently got some new down pillows for the back of it, just for pure comfort. And we had blue and white and gray patterned pillowcases on these for the fall. And I knew that that was not going to go with the Christmas decor, but I also wanted to keep the couch very light and fresh and open. So what I did was I went on Amazon and I ordered just white pillow covers, but I didn't want them to be just white and plain. So I went ahead and got a couple of different textures and patterns and some of them are fur, some of them are more like a felt kind of material, and that just gave texture and interest to the white pillows. It still feels very light and fresh on the couch, but it is like interesting with the texture and it's cozy, like when you sit on it, it feels soft and comfortable. But in order to bring over some of the Christmas, I went ahead and added two of these deep green velvet pillows. Um, those I've had for years and actually match my dining room chairs. And so that kind of brings the living room and the dining room together. And then I have these plaid pillows. I also got these from Amazon this year. They're just covers. And I went ahead and added one on each end and also a plaid blanket that I picked up from Walmart this year. This just pulls some of that, that plaid that I was talking about with the plates, you're gonna start to see all of these different elements kind of go together. The other thing with the couch, I felt like once the couch was made, it wasn't like I something was missing. So I found this wreath at Walmart this year, it was $13 and I hung this above my couch and it's small, but there's something about that green element being brought over onto the wall that leads your eye from the tree to the wall and then to the other side of the room. And it just makes it all come together. And that is probably one of my favorite additions to the living room this year. And then moving over to the other side of the room, because our living room is different this year, we did have to switch up some of the furniture to fit the tree. So I ended up putting this side table that is normally by our armchair over in this corner. And I knew that I wanted to put some lights on this. And the reason is because again, the tree is very big and heavy and the majority of the lights are over on 
this one side of the living room, I wanted your eye to go to the other side of the living room as well. And so we had this pencil tree. It's part of a set of three. The other two we put in rooms and there are different heights, but this is the smaller of them. And I just wrapped light strand on it and just kept it simple. And then I added this lantern with this candle, which has a little bit of pine inside the wax. I'll never light it. It's purely for decor, but I thought that that was a really nice touch to bring in some of the green from the other parts of the room. To add in a little bit of red, I have this heart dish that a friend of mine gave me, and then also this wooden angel that my mom gave me. It has the same colors with just a little pop of red, so it gives you that same feel as the tree and the fireplace and all the other parts of the decor. This lamp I wanted to add here as well. We've had this for years. Um, we got it from an antique store and it just fit the vibe that I feel like I was going for for Christmas. And then also added some extra light over in this corner, which we don't have lights in that corner in general. Our ceiling lights are just over the fireplace, so we kind of need some light over here anyway. So this was a really nice addition to this table. And then in order to give it a little bit of a Christmas feel, I added some of this greenery that I've just had and used in various parts of my decor and a couple of those same berries from the mantle. And that gives it a little pop of red, but also helps coordinate it with the other pieces in the decor. In the other corner of the room, we have this grandfather clock that I love. And normally I don't do anything with this for Christmas, but it felt like it needed something this year. So I took some of that same greenery that I used around the lamp, stuck it just right on top of the grandfather clock. And then I added this plaid bow from the Dollar Tree. I found these at the Dollar Tree this year. I saw them and I thought that they were beautiful and very expensive looking and for a dollar you really can't go wrong and that just pulls in again that plaid from the plates and the pillows on the couch and now you have the plaid on the grandfather clock and then i even added a plaid bow to that side table over there in the corner and now your eye is just seeing these bits that go together all around the room the next thing i did was our staircase i do always do a garland on my staircase this year with the new garlands i really wanted them to just drape and hang and i wanted to add bows to them i feel like that's really big on instagram and pinterest this year or whatever um, to add silk ribbon or raw edge ribbon i could not find any of that at our craft stores i looked at all of them. So I decided to just go ahead and make it. So I just ordered a yard of chiffon fabric from Joanne's Fabric. Um, it is more sheer than I had anticipated, but I really like the way it looks because of the way the lights shine through the ribbon now. So I just laid it out and cut strips of the fabric. I didn't measure. I wanted it to be very imperfect and raw and just natural. So I just cut the strips randomly and then I tied those everywhere the garland met the staircase. But in order to bring all of these pieces together, I also added a ribbon bow to the top of the tree that sits over in this corner and another ribbon bow to the wreath that's on the wall. And then I carried the ribbons over to the fireplace mantle as well. And you'll see them on the half wall garland too. So again, it's just taking these elements and adding them to the different parts to bring them all together. The dining room and kitchen are always the last things to get decorated. For the most part, most of my decor stays in the living room and that's the part I am the most excited to do because the tree and the mantle, you know, are the biggest parts. But one of the things I did this year was add wreaths to the back of my chairs. Again, I did this last year. They were candle rings from the Dollar Tree, but they had touches of burgundy with them. So I did know that I wanted to do something different this year since um, I was doing red as my accent color. So I went ahead and picked up these wreaths. I got them from Joann's for half off and they don't have any color to them. What I love about that is I can use them year after year and no matter what my accent color is, I can continue to use these wreaths. Uh, I did go ahead and you'll notice that I added some more of those fabric bows to these wreaths too. Again, it's just tying in those elements so that it looks like everything goes together. 
I added a, another garland above my doors in the dining room and then two more of those plaid bows on either side of the garland on the windows. That was just a little touch of red. I felt like this space needed both red and plaid and I thought that that was a really good way to add it. As far as the centerpiece for the dining room table, I have this I think it's a wine bucket. It's just a silver piece that a friend of mine gave me. I went ahead and added some greenery to this, some um, pieces that I had had from last year, and I stuck in a couple of flocked picks with that and also a couple of hydrangea flowers. I know hydrangeas are not traditionally Christmas, but with the white color, I felt like it still matched, if that makes sense. And then I stuck this sweet little owl in here, which I've had for a while. And it's just kind of a little fun element for the dining room table. But in order to pull some more of that plaid and red in, I went ahead and tied this plaid ribbon around the vase. And that is probably one of my favorite touches. One other place that I love to decorate for Christmas is my desk. My desk is mostly functional. It is mostly for storage and, um, like usable space, but there are a couple of little spots on it that I do like to decorate for the seasons. So in order to coordinate that with the rest of the decor, I went ahead and put a, another garland up here. And actually this is a half garland. Um, I had to use one and a half on one of the stair sides. So I had an extra half and I thought that that was perfect for this part of my desk. And I wanted to keep it simple up here. I went ahead and I have this glass and gold house. This actually matches with the lantern that is over on the fireplace. And so I went ahead and put a simple white candle in there. So it kind of looks like it goes. And then I just put a couple of glass trees up here. I thought that that looked really pretty as well as another pine candle in the lantern that matches the one over in the corner in the living room. And then I have this sweet little set of Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus salt and pepper shaker that my grandma gave me and I just love them. They're so stinking cute. So they had to be in my decor this year. They were in my decor last year as well. So that is where I put that. And then I felt like my window over my sink needed a little something so I had one more garland left and I went ahead and draped that over the sink. The last places that I decorate in my kitchen are above my fridge and I have a little tray on top of my microwave and I just like to add a little bit here. At the top of my fridge is storage for cake plates and trays but I don't like it to look like a storage piece so I do decorate a little bit. I know it's a little bit weird but I like the way it looks so I added some more of that greenery that I used in the living room, a few pine cones, a candle, and also this Santa napkin holder that my grandma gave me. Again, it's just a sweet piece that I love, but it brings a little bit of red over here, some of that green that I've used throughout the space. Some of the pine cones, which you'll see have been in several different spots in the house and on this tray above the microwave again I used the same greenery a couple of those berries that I had used on the garlands in the living room and these sweet reindeer candle holders they're like a black metal with a little bit of brass painting on them I thought that those really coordinated with the bells on the garlands and then again those have LED candles in them as well so those will turn on at a certain time of night and turn off on their own that is what I ended up doing for our Christmas decor this year I really hope you like this video please leave a thumbs up and Subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. I want to wish you and your families the happiest of Christmas. And if you celebrate any other holidays, happy holidays to you. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your year. Thank you so much for being here and watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next one.